My name is Todd Barber. I work here at the Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California. We're also a NASA center, and our charge from the federal government is the exploration of the solar system using robots. We have visited every planet in the solar system except for Pluto. When I was young, I always loved studying math and science, and I knew JPL was my destiny. It was the career uh, dream for me. Even though Superman's a visitor to our planet, he still has to abide by the laws of our physicists on planet Earth, Sir Isaac Newton, who formulated the law of gravity, and Albert Einstein as well, at least if Superman approaches the speed of light. He needs to follow his Einsteinian physics. But generally, we think it would be due to their, uh, if I understand correctly, their chemical makeup or their cellular structure that allows them to have the superhuman strength. Superman seems to defy a lot of our laws of physics on planet Earth. He's able to uh, perform feats that are impossible for mere mortals on planet Earth. If you took the power that Superman could generate in, let's say, being more powerful than a locomotive and it turned it into electrical power, he could power over 50,000 light bulbs. When Superman is flying through the air in constant level flight, he has to have a thrust force that equals his wind resistance force, just like an airplane or a bird. He might go as fast or faster than a fighter jet, Mach 2.6. 2.6 times the speed of sound. That's supersonic, faster than sound can go. So if you yell to your friend across the room, those sound waves move at 746 miles per hour, which is pretty slow compared to Superman speed. He's able to uh, fly in space, apparently. It's something we can't do without uh, taking care of our astronauts. Although I understand one of his recent trips to space, he did have a space helmet on, so perhaps he does need to breathe oxygen there. Superman's x-ray vision is really cool. It's really a way of seeing a different kind of light than the normal light we see from the sun and, and all around us. One disadvantage with x-rays are they are unable to penetrate lead. That's a great advantage for you when you're sitting in the dentist chair, though, and getting your dental x-ray. It protects your internal organs when you wear your little lead apron. So Superman uh, had it right on the money there. If Superman really existed, we'd love to sign him up to work at JPL. He'd be very useful for projects. I've seen him work with his superhuman speed. He'd be able to put spacecraft together very quickly. He might also be able to help us uh, go into orbit and fix spacecraft that were having troubles in low Earth orbit. So we'd love to have him on the payroll here. We'd love to have you young boys and girls come join us at JPL when you're ready to join the working world. We're so lucky here to be able to explore the solar system every day and learn about our vast universe. You'd have to be made of stone to not care about these kind of questions. Why are we here? How old is the universe? Where are we going? What's our destiny in space? Are we alone in the universe? Are there intelligent species out there waiting for us to communicate? These are a few of the questions I feel I get to help answer every day.